<laughs> All right, you guys, we have made it. We're at the plantation in Crystal River, and uh, we saw probably the biggest car fire I've ever, in, like the biggest car fire ever on the way here. So we're we're about three or four hours behind schedule. We're gonna be getting up at daylight tomorrow, and we're heading out. We just showed up to Ed's tackle shop. I don't know who Ed is, but hopefully I get to meet him. We're over on the Gulf, Crystal River, grouper country. We're gonna be fishing, we're gonna be spear fishing. More importantly, we're just gonna be having a good time with great people. Let's go in here and get some tackle, and then we're heading out. We've got some X wraps, we've got some sardines, thread and herring, chum, and leader. I've got these for my spinning rods, a little bit lighter, but it's got a swivel on each end. That's gonna allow, when that bait, if your bait spins going down, it's gonna allow, you know, the bait to spin and not spin up all your lines. So, using some new stuff, everywhere I go, I find new tackle, new gear, new techniques. And sometimes I'm able to take these techniques back home or into other situations. It's called applied knowledge. That's your tech tip of the week. Bam! <laughs> Hey, see you guys. See you. When we come back, we hope to smell like fish, have a little bit of blood on the side of this boat. The adventure begins, y'all. We're in Crystal River. This resort right here is amazing. We got here last night. It's called the Plantation at Crystal River. They've got a golf course, restaurants, bar and grill, but more importantly, they just have tons of wildlife. Like, look, that's a that's a, a white egret right there. Beautiful bird sitting here waiting along the shore looking for little fish super cool you never know what you're going to see here so right now our main objective is to go out looking for gray grouper we call them gag groupers gray groupers they have a lot of them here we're also looking for hogfish sheep's head or anything else that's legal and edible because tonight they have an amazing restaurant here that we're going to go to and they're going to cook us something special the cool thing about what we do is everywhere we go, we get to eat local food, local recipes. And uh, I'm excited to see what they've got for us tonight, y'all. This uh, is a dream come true. And uh, one of Gabe's buddies, Captain Blake Scheidler, he's a captain down here, and he said, don't worry about bait. He's gonna catch his bait. <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah, that's what I'm talking that? about. Well. I got three three. Like yeah, buddy. Dude, whatever you need from me, I got you. We ready? Yeah, go ahead. It's important when you're letting the anchor out to don't just throw it in and walk away. Let it hit the bottom. Go ahead and make sure your chain and everything's straight. Give it a couple pops and then start giving it a few hands. And that's your tech tip of the week. Brought to you by Blue Game Incorporated. Go to bluegame.com to get all your official Blue Game merchandise and apparel. That's right. We're anchored up perfectly right now, Mark. Good fish on the bottom. And I'm taking some of these sardines, just frozen sardines, chunking them up and dropping them down to the bottom. What I want to happen is, I want the fish to start feeding. The trigger fish, the grunts, the snappers, the little groupers, everything just to start feeding and gobbling it up. That action, all the bigger groupers should come in. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm not even ready to fish yet. Well, so I, can't help it. I get 50%. <laughs> yeah, boys! Now, I've speared a semi truck load full of these, but that's the first one I've really ever caught. Turning look, loose. He's way too small. Look at though. that. Gag grouper, baby. That's why we came to Crystal River. Give him a kiss. Mwah. 
There he goes, released, healthy. I was in a hurry, I didn't care what it looked like, I just wanted to get a bait in the water. So everybody watching deer meat for dinner out there, Gabe started his channel, what do you start, like six months ago or so? July. He July. started in July. He's already up to 135, 140,000 subscribers. And uh, if you haven't already, go over and check him out. It's called Blue Gabe. It's similar format, similar to my channel, but he tells it in a different way, totally different. So you might really enjoy it. I've got a three ounce inline sinker with a swivel on the front and the back so it doesn't get spun up. I'm using 60 pound test fluorocarbon leader to a five aught circle hook and a little pin fish. Now, boys, don't step back. We're gonna pitch it right back here. Let it go down to the water. There Look at go, this. Buddy. There you go. Fish your teeth. Little brother spanking big brother today. I've been fishing for three seconds. Well, that's three seconds. Where I'm whooping you another grouper. Dude, these mags custom rods are the crap. Check how long he is. Here we go. Just got picked up right there. Here, do you want me to set the hook Shut for you? Shut up. That's the secret juice right there. So a lot of people always ask me, you know, how we end up being so successful. We've done this our whole life, but one of the most important things, in my opinion, is we are always concentrating. A lot of people will be looking over there, hey, what are they catching over there on that boat? Or, you need to worry about your boat, your rod, and your bait, and your fishing tank. Your fish count will go up as my fish size goes down. 20 and a half. bait is going psycho. So we just picked up the anchor and we're going to drift across and see what we see. Dude, this is starting to really irritate me. Oh, dude, got nailed. It's a bigger fish. Oh, no! He got you in the rock. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just... Hold on. Got he got you back in the rock? Oh, we're good. We're good. Pull him right down. Dang, that fish fought hard. Yeah. He ain't even a keeper. Let's see. He's 23. Close, but no cigar. Be close. Nailed, bro. There you go. That's a keeper there. Oh, hey, buddy. That was by far the hardest bite of the day for me. That fish just stomped on it. Right at 23 inches long, y'all. So close. Whoa, dude, they just got fish slapped upside the so head dead. there. Dead gun, did y'all hear that? And we got bottom, too. You getting in? Well, I'm not gonna sit and watch. <laughs> watch your leg, bro. Oh, wait, come on. I get 50%. Oh yeah. So what we were doing yesterday, I was just throwing shrimp over the boat. Shrimp, shrimp. Grab that rod, grab that rod and get that weight down so don't hit him. There we go. Yeah! That's a keeper. We're about to go do a reconnaissance mission and find out exactly what's 
down there. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's cold! <laughs> to keep her sheep's head. It feels like I'm diving in the Arctic. This is the first time I've ever had to wear this hoodie. Big shout out Herman for giving it to me. This wetsuit has saved my rear end. We have a grouper, hogfish, sheep's head, all kinds of stuff for dinner tonight, y'all. Yeah, baby, that's what dinner looks like. We just rolled up here to the fish cleaning dock. That's Patrick right there. He's got a deer meat for dinner. Bone and filet. That didn't just happen. So people ask me all the time, what's your favorite fish in the world to eat? That's my favorite fish in the whole world to eat. That's a female hogfish. That's a male hogfish. Come in here, cut right down there. Come right up the back. Take your thumb, hold that hide up just a little bit. And just gently come down the backbone. Hogfish are very easy to cut through their backbone, so just be particular. And there's a bunch of meat on the bottom side. So what you do is take that. See that? Perfect piece of meat. 
So then, come in here and just hold that. And a lot of fish, when you skin them, there will be a bloodline. You'll see a lot of blood, man. Hogfish have no blood. That they're just such a, an amazingly good eating fish. I wanted to say something real quick. Uh, their mom, their mom was a huge fan of my channel. Loved watching my channel. Was always the life of the party. Always had a smile on her face. And unfortunately, I was never able to meet her. Um, just a week or two ago, unexpectedly, she passed away. Yeah, lost Patty right before Thanksgiving, and uh, went through a couple birthdays. Her own birthday, we buried her uh, right here in Fall City. Actually, Dad gave us permission to keep her here. So, so I'd like to dedicate this this video to Miss Patty. I want to say thank you guys very thank much, you for man, coming, man, for it's having me come out. down. Miss Rosemary, thank you for the hospitality. This place is amazing. It's one of the greatest communities ever. I swear, yeah. you're, you're, I know you're going to come back, and I know you're going to have an even better time. I'll tell you what, if I can get 10,000 likes on this video, I'll book a trip in the next 30 days to come back, because... Out of the plantation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to throw that in there. Yo, what's up, happy people? Here we are in the kitchen. And the wonderful thing about this is all of this was swimming in the Gulf of Mexico just a few hours ago. All right, you guys, so Jason, he's going very simple. Salt and pepper, nothing extravagant, just a very basic seasoning. This is so good. That scallions and fresh spinach with white wine, they're gonna bring that down and that's gonna be the bed for the fish. Chef Paul, you have no idea, but I'm a huge fan of ginger. And check that out. He's got fresh ginger on the grouper. Rock it. How fortuitous. So it browns a little bit. When are you and Jason going fishing with me? Whatever you ask. What? <laughs> what? They started that fish on the heat in a saute pan. Once they get a nice caramelized little crispy crust, they take it, throw it in the oven, they're gonna finish it in the oven where they're gonna slow down the cook. It'll start cooking through and through, It'll be very, very nice and tender, retain all that moisture, and it's gonna be delicious. Look at this. These lemons are caramelized on the outside, like cooked. Why do you do that? Let me show you. It's just really healthy. Oh, no way. You know, it softens up the lemon, it gives it a little bit of a caramel flavor, and then taste it. Come on. Mm. I would have never guessed that. Look how awesome that is. Now this is this is how this happens. Dunk it. This is so hot. It's... That is magic. If you if you come to the plantation on Crystal River, is this like a menu item? Don't even look at the menu. Just order that. That is off the chart good. Hey y'all, y'all got to give Chef Paul a little round of applause because he's a magic man. He's a magic man. Good job. This is insane, you guys. They got us our own big table. Everyone's here. This is Captain Blake. What's up? He showed up with all the live bait and a couple of rad numbers today. We're probably gonna come back on Sunday and fish with him, but we've got some of the most amazing food ever. Drop a thumbs up for this guy. You're awesome. You and your whole team are amazing. Thank you so much. I'm gonna sit down and eat. We've been going hard today. Oh, look at this. Oh. This is what it's all about. Come in. There's a wolf coming. Oh. You guys, this is my youngest one. This is Emma. And uh, I love making YouTube videos and I love the outdoors, but there's something special about my young daughters and my beautiful wife. Oh! Oh my lord. A little uh, Florida tomato bacon gravy.
This is amazing. I'm gonna give this to Sarah. It's the holiday season. Whether it's Christmas or whether it's any other day of the year, man, we have a lot to be thankful for. We live in a wonderful country full of amazing freedoms that most of the world don't understand. But uh, let's bow our heads and say the blessing. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for all these amazing people. And thank you for such an amazing experience. Lord, please nurse it to our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And thank you for my new co-host, God. <laughs> that he, he, he forgot his, so he's like, hey, I need to use yours. <laughs> like, but it's my first day. Whatever. You guys, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna enjoy dinner. Check out Plantation on Crystal River. Blake, what's your charter boat? Hang em High Sport Fishing. Hang em High Sport Fishing. Just Google Crystal River because this place is heavenly and I cannot wait to come back, you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of our channel, a part of our day, and thank you for letting us be a part of your day. Take care, God bless, and we are gone. Oh! oh!